So like I said before, um, the only schema in which Zeit has approved a personal data field is the author of an article. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything else uh, we we haven't approved um, personal data. And, and the reason for that is even though social media data, a lot of it is public and not behind a login and it's out there, uh, if there's no personal data in this particular post, because Zeit isn't a person, it's a business. Um, but if that was a person, if that was Sanaya and it was at Sanaya, um, then that would be considered personal data. And you have to be very careful about, about scraping that. And so, um, so yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's public or not public, GDPR still applies. Um, there's potentially other laws across the globe that apply as well. You know, there's, there's various state laws in the US, there's California state law, CCPA, there's other ones coming out next year. Uh, Canada, Australia, Brazil, like all of these countries have strict um, data protection laws. So you kind of need to be really cautious when you're taking personal data, even if it's out there in the public. And so that's why we don't put it in any of our standard schemas. And we, if we are going to approve any type of personal data, it has to go through a full legal review by Zite as well as the customer. So it's it's definitely a big hurdle to start taking personal data. But you know, then there's tons of social media person social media data out there, like business data, that's definitely more open. And because there aren't data protection laws that cover that, and then also there's ways to kind of anonymize personal data and not actually scrape the personal data. So there's there's lots of workarounds and ways to to get the data you need while staying compliant. See, on, on the anonymize, so what I go have here is we have the the standard schema, you know, all social media schemas and, and the work that we do still goes through a legal review. Uh, even though we have a standard schema agreed, it still needs to go through a legal review for the reasons Sanaya has outlined there. Um, but actually, Sanaya, if you want to describe maybe why we have these this breakdown between the left and the right column. Yeah, so so the standard schema, you know, v v one here is there's you know there's no personal data in it. So um, if there's any ads like at some person, we we put in an anonymized user tag. So say, you can see it says there user tag one, um, and that's what we would do to to take out the personal data. We don't take the username. Um, we, we take all the stuff that is in personal data, right? Like number of followers, number of following, that kind of stuff, number of reposts, number of likes, all of that kind of stuff, where you're just going to get that analysis of the posts and the analysis of the data without actually having to know who the, who's posting it or who's being talked about in these, uh, the author detail add-on is there in the situations where a customer comes to us and you know, this is typically really sophisticated customers who have their DPIs in place. They've done all the GDPR work or the CCPA work. They've already looked into it. They have, you know, lawyers who've who've kind of dotted their I's and crossed the T's. Then those might be the situations where we would approve this author details add-on. Um, it's it's a very high bar for this, and it's not something we do frequently. So the standard schema where personal data is fully descoped would be the one we would typically go with. 